cool, confident, smart, courageous, and yet still goofy and real. Disney can try and destroy this character all they want, but I'll never see him as anything but this. A legend. That's why I'd never watch Indy 5, even with a gun to my damn head. I really like words. One that's been rattling around in my head in recent years is nostalgia. We tend to use nostalgia to just mean a sentimental longing for one's past. Sort of that warm, fuzzy feeling you get when you're remembering your youth. Now I'd like that, but that shit ain't the truth. In truth, the word nostalgia is derived from two Greek words, nostos meaning return and algos meaning pain. Hmm, that's more like it. It's that gut-wrenching feeling you sometimes get as you get older and you realize you've already seen more sunrises than you'll see in the future. It's looking back at your old family home only to remember it was sold 20 years ago and it's been renovated and it only exists as you remember in your mind's eye. It's wishing things were now as they used to be. But art used to be different. The same painting or piece of music or architecture or movie you loved as a kid would go unchanged your whole life. Unless it was destroyed somehow, no one was going to go and change it and update it for today's modern audiences. That was unthinkable. But now we live in a time where this has become commonplace. Statues tumble, books get rewritten, classic stories get updated, creators will go back into their own movies and alter things, destroying the very works you once fell in love with. And most insidiously, modern creators, standing on the shoulders of the giants that created these stories in the first place, will bracket older movies with prequels and sequels, destroying the canon and the mythos of the very story they're callously leeching off. The list of franchises that have gotten this treatment is long and distinguished. Yeah, well, so is my Johnson. But why just make it worse dredging it all up again? That brings us to Indiana Jones. Lucasfilm has finally gotten around to giving this legendary hero the same treatment they've given Star Wars. Tearing down a hero we all once loved, showing him as a feeble old man in the twilight of his life, no longer the hero he once was. Weak, depressed, questioning his own exploits and thus our fascination with them and in need of a younger female lead to save him and show us the way. Fuck all that. Are you kidding me with this shit? This is Indiana Jones. What is Lucasfilm doing? Other than the creatives involved here, who exactly was asking for any of this? Since I also refuse to acknowledge the often rumored fourth Indiana Jones movie that Trey and Matt of South Park fame so ruthlessly showed my generation's disdain for, as far as I'm concerned, Indiana Jones literally rode off into the damn sunset at the end of, wait for it, The Last Crusade. I was 11 when Raiders was released and 19 when The Last Crusade ended the story. The formative years of my childhood were spent wanting to be Indiana Jones. And while I'd have loved for Harrison Ford to forgo anything but this character and make several more movies with Spielberg and Lucas between Raiders and Last Crusade, he didn't. So we only got three. But what we got were three brilliant adventure stories that spurred the imaginations of an entire generation. My generation. I can't believe for one goddamn second that any of us were now sitting around thinking, hmm, those were great and all, but what I really want to know is, what's Indy's life like as an octogenarian? Is his home health nurse nice to him? No, much like Luke Skywalker, we left our hero at the height of his powers, in his prime, knowing that while we may never see him again, he'd go on to other fantastic adventures. But at no point did we contemplate his demise or his slow erosion toward the grave. While I'm no fan of the old saying, live fast and leave a good looking corpse, especially as I get older, it makes perfect sense when it comes to our heroes. We all want to remember them as they were. In the coming days, you'll hear people tell you things like, oh, just give it a shot. It's the last indie movie. Hey, and if it turns out you don't like it, it'll never take away how much you love the first three. And you'll be tempted to believe that horse shit because you'll have a fear of missing out, right? Except, have you already forgotten Game of Thrones? Don't you remember loving the show only to realize somewhere during season seven that things were broken and then to watch the unmitigated disaster that turned out to be season eight? And sure, you were angry about it, but let's be honest. Have you really been able to go back and watch the first few seasons with the same enjoyment you had originally? Well, you can pretend you didn't, but you saw how they ended the story and it gnaws at you, doesn't it? Yeah, me too. 
They've done it to Star Wars, Star Trek, Doctor Who, and countless others so far. Enough is enough. Instead of allowing them to forever taint the memories you have of this beloved franchise, spend your time this opening weekend going back and enjoying the real hero and his real story. Relive that feeling you had as a kid when you saw him crack that whip the first time. Refuse to allow Disney and Lucasfilm to take this character away from you. Or get ready for actual nostalgia after watching them destroy Indy and wishing you could go back before they had. Until next time, thanks for watching.